Hi, welcome to the Grand Hyatt Incheon Airport Hotel in uh, Incheon, South Korea. This is a one night stay at um, this Grand Hyatt property, which includes um, one west wing and one east wing. The east wing is an older uh, building which has been renovated though, and this west wing here is the newest addition to the hotel that has been added a couple of years ago. And this is a residence uh, room or residence suite, better say it, number uh, 1223. It's now April 2022. And yeah, it was a one night stay here at this hotel overnight. I'm heading to the airport uh, by the shuttle bus in just a moment. So um, this concludes my stay here in South Korea, which was roughly three weeks. And um, yeah, it's late in the afternoon now. But I decided to stay here last night because I've been staying here a lot in the past and not having been here now for three years, I said, okay, I want to stay at least one night here at this uh, Grand Hyatt once again. So they gave me this uh, residence suite as part of a globalist upgrade and um, let me show you around. So you come in um, through the hallway and actually even the hallway is something worse to look at because it's nice and serene and here you've got a nice chandelier lamp whatever you want to call it so it's actually does look quite residential room number one two two three so we come in to our left there is a small storage room with a luggage rack and um, nothing further before I opened this room I thought there was a washer dryer or something inside but Maybe it was intended for that, however, it didn't happen so far. So they just put the luggage rack in. <clears throat> then here we got the living room. Very, very spacious couch. Um, at least space for like, I don't know, five people? At least, if not six. Um, yeah, large TV, two chairs. Um, there is no real like work desk, however, You've got this dining table here in the kitchen and you can definitely use it as a work desk. So it's not that, that serious that a real spacious work desk is missing because the space next to the TV is yeah, not really suitable for doing any kind of work um, other than sitting down and doing a phone call. So here we got an espresso machine. There is a coffee and tea set. Here are some Nespresso taps. Um, yeah, some decaf just instant coffee, a um, little bit of tea. All these uh, closets here are empty. There is a toaster and a microwave. There's no cutlery though. I'm not 100% sure why you would have like half a kitchen here, but no cutlery whatsoever. Then here we got um, a mini bar in the size of a large fridge as well as a freezer. And um, the mini bar is chargeable i did get something actually good that i see this now because i want to take the power rate which i got from the lounge take it to the airport with me um yeah so this is the kitchen let's walk over to the bedroom on the way there here we got the guest bathroom just the toilet and the sink here we go so bedroom as usual King size bed, a nice relaxation chair over here. Um, small TV in the bedroom, very, very tiny TV actually, by its standards these days. Here we see in Cheung Airport, it's not a very nice weather today. However, it is dry. <clears throat> and from here, no, we cannot see it. The Paradise City Casino is to our left. And I was there yesterday, it was empty. I think there were five people inside the whole complex as large as a convention center, super creepy. Um, bathroom, here we go. So a double size sink. Um, you even got your little uh, TV set there or t integrated uh, TV in the wall at the bathtub. And they do have the Bama uh, shower amenities, just like most of the Grand Hyatt you use these days. Here we got the rainforest shower, shower head into a large size tub which was quite nice. Another toilet here um, for the main for the main bedroom. And yeah, that is it. So in here, just in case you need um, additional amenities, you got, you know, some Hyatt branded 
just uh, cleaning tissues just for sanitization then some more soap of course uh, shower cap as well as toothbrush this is an airport hotel so sometimes um, you have people coming here who get stranded or who lost their luggage stuff like this so they need more amenities than probably a usual hotel and um, they have additional stuff at the front desk as well so why did I come here all the way from Seoul downtown just for an additional night because it probably is not really worthwhile doing an airport hotel stay if your departure is at five o'clock um, I just like this property um, club lounge is nice it's very busy on the weekends though try to avoid it because a lot of locals are using this for staycation um, it's full of families so <clears throat> but otherwise yeah it's very residential stuff here is great so normally I try to stay at least once if not twice uh, when I'm here in South Korea so I'm happy that I was able to make it work this time and now I'm off to the airport and uh, yeah off to Las Vegas next so once again Grand Hyatt Incheon Incheon Airport Seoul South Korea April 2022 here at this Residence Suite 1223.